this is Matt Sam and welcome to our new episode of Question Remix. Question Remix. My god, what we are doing here? Are we mixing questions? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're gonna do some kind of like update from time to time yeah. of what is happening in our life. You know, since our relationship has been entering to a different stage, so we got lots of questions from our friends and from the audience. So that's why we are here to answer you one by one. Why, why, are, you, why are you speaking in such a vague way? Because <laughs> I'm the a duck to answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Question number one. What has changed after we got married? We already are living together, uh, even before marriage, so to be honest, from this kind of perspective, not so much has changed, except that we right now have the rings. Uh -huh. We don't even have a different way to call each other, I still call him Mateusz, I don't call him hubby or husband or honey, it's yeah, I, I weird. Yeah. What are the next plans? That's question two. What are the next plans? Yes, so basically one big uh, plan for us mm -hmm. is to lose weight. <laughs> this because is... if you see the past videos, you can see we were like this, especially his face was like really small. And I also start to get bigger and bigger because you know, we're living together. We are living together, we are getting too lazy about doing anything. We would like to start some exercise. She already has started. I'm more lazy about this. Mm -hmm. But obviously, when I see each other on the videos, those past videos, I see my face was way, way slimmer. Which yeah. She liked the face right now, yeah. but she doesn't like the belly. <laughs> and I also don't like the belly, like, yeah. it's growing. We're getting bigger and bigger, we want to change this. And what else we want to do, Sansan, about the language? Yes. Uh, Sansan will learn Polish, Yeah. starting from a month ago, should be. But uh, she's not joining any lessons, yes? This is the time to really speak Polish, especially about, you know, the, the job and the society and everything. She can achieve way more if yeah. she knows Polish, yes? So yeah, uh, we true. think it's a very good idea, especially later on we will probably have kids, yes? Yeah. Also we need to speak to them, not like, you know, daddy speaks Polish, <laughs> mommy speaks Chinese uh, or English. Yeah. And, yeah. So uh, it's this kind of thinking. And now let's go to the second question. What are we gonna do with the kid? How are we gonna teach the kid? Um, what kind of language we will speak to them? Okay. So. My point of view mm -hmm. on this topic is that we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna put the kids to the Polish school. We're not Normal gonna school. put them to those like international school. International school, so <laughs> 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 sorry, no, no hateness from my side. Uh, so yeah, to normal Polish school. So of course it's gonna that they're gonna speak Polish. Yeah, we're gonna speak Polish to them and English. I don't know how it's gonna be with three languages because I think from time to time we will also speak Chinese. I think so. I think at home I will teach him or her Chinese mm -hmm. because it is a language with a potential market. Mm -hmm. And anyways, we will need to bring our children to, to Taiwan to meet grandparents and all the relatives. Oh, definitely. And yeah, I think so it would be lovely if your mom yeah. and your dad can hear them speaking some Chinese course, to them, you know, like even with the Polish accent, yeah, <laughs> it just and, make, makes everything so and funny. And even my colleagues, they are teaching their, like they're a Polish couple, but they are teaching their kids mm -hmm. Polish, English and Chinese. Mm -hmm. And for this uh, little young child, it's not really a problem to pick up the language fastly. So to make this, to make our children to be more competitive, so why not? Mm -hmm. But we don't want to have children right now. So yeah, no, 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 no. Just a simple question. Yeah. What are the recent books that we are reading? I think it's also good to share it. This one is called The Last Girl. So it's the girl who was captured by ISIS and uh, become the sex slave and so on. So eventually she ran away from there and this is the kind of like, let's say, a documentary story of, of her life there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's also interesting to give you a different perspective because we are always looking at them from just another third person, yeah, another country, from another country. And this is exactly, you feel like you are in the war zone when you are reading. So it uh, brings you to a different world, this kind of feeling. So very interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. From me would be two things. Uh, one thing about like a correct book, basically. I was always a fan of this guy. And, uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Not I, always, I mean, but I like This is in Polish, yeah, but I believe this, the, 
the name of this book in English is Total Recall, basically. It's more about like his story, story of his life. Because, no, you can find him in those mo motivation videos here yeah, on mm -hmm. YouTube and so on. And he motivates me a lot about the, how to be someone so so huge, uh -huh. yeah, so so important in a society and so such a big star, yeah, uh -huh. out from basically nothing in the beginning, uh -huh. like completely from nothing zero, from zero. zero, yeah. Sasan didn't like him in the beginning. <laughs> she felt like he is so, so retarded, like oh. Because I thought he, he's just another actor who cannot act, uh, who is just playing like a wood. <laughs> Uh, I didn't hate him, but um, I was never a fan of him. Uh -huh. And then until he introduced me in different aspect, and I was um, seriously watching his film, and I feel like he's actually a very serious person who is trying to achieve something in his life. And also, it's like he's such a big man, but he has a very cute personality, and I always got attracted by somebody who looks tough, but it's actually very soft inside. Uh -huh, yeah, so yeah. he's exactly this kind of person. <laughs> and now he's like a cute grandpa who was playing with tanks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about those, like not not books, but comics, we can say yes. Yeah. I also became, it's because of her and her sister a bit. I was never up to those kind of things and somehow after watching anime uh -huh. with uh, Sasan just showed me those like uh, very important anime. Like and those classic yes, anime. Yes, yes, yes. And then I became like, you know, actually I kind of like it. One of the uh, questions also uh, that appears, what do you think about China? I see this happens quite often. <laughs> Uh, and many people like to ask this, you know. This many kind people of... don't even ask. They're like, they're just trying to offend me because of this <laughs> sensitive political topic. Personally, I don't hate China because I'm even working for a Chinese company. My colleagues are basically Chinese people, uh, so on a daily basis, I have the chance to get in touch with Chinese people uh, living in Poland and also those people living in China. So I have to say, uh, Chinese abroad as person they're better like their behavior is more westernized so you feel like you're more in touch like you're more on the same page if you're talking about chinese people in china so they're pers they're kind of close-minded because you know they don't have so much access to the whole western social media in china facebook google like they are blocked yes, yes and facebook google blocked and, and it's more like the Chinese government, which is very amazing, they implement their own kind of uh, their own version. copies of this, yes? Yeah. So they follow it so much and they don't even have any desire to change it, I think, yeah? Like, like of course, the young people, they, oh, they are, already you know. They are VPN and then, yeah, we know this. Everybody else in the world is using Facebook Messenger, mm -hmm. uh, but Chinese are using WeChat. And everybody's using Facebook, but they have something else in their own version. So, mm -hmm. uh, for those, at least those Chinese people in China that I'm in contact with, many of them are really close minded and some of them are really straightforward. So, when they don't like you, they say straight away to your face. And also, when they see, like, just my personal experience, when they see I'm typing in traditional Chinese language, so they're curious, so they're asking me uh, where are you from, and also the words I'm using is quite different. So I'm saying like, I'm from Taiwan. And uh, many of them are saying good words about Taiwan, but of course there are many of them are being rude to me that ah, yeah, 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 China, Ta Taiwan, China, there's no differences, Taiwan anyways belongs to China. Like this kind of topic, and um, I disagree with that because yes, this going to the sensitive part that yes, we are sharing the same root. Taiwanese originally came from mainland China. Our ancestor they just moved to a small island right next to China. It's same kind of concept that British people moved to USA, but they just moved more far away, so they share English language. We are way closer in the geographically location, so our differences is not so huge, but it's still different because um, even though when I'm spending time with my Chinese colleagues, we, we notice so many differences in the life, language, our perspective to the world. So I wouldn't even say that I have any recognition as myself as Chinese. So I don't hate them, but I wouldn't say I like to be part of them. 
My personal opinion about this, uh, yes, both countries are separated from each other. There's too many differences, to be honest, between the behavior of those people, between the uh, uh, accent. Even I, as a foreigner, can see a strong <laughs> difference of accent uh -huh. of those two nations. The government system, the money, the, the way they talk to you, the way they behave, the way they use those communication systems. The whole society is way different. This is already separated for those over 100 years. They made a huge differences from each other and I don't think there's any reason, there's no reason to just combine them together, yes? Yeah. It's like you would like to combine Poland and, I don't know, Czech and Russia. something else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of the sensitive topics, okay? <laughs> Another just two small things we want to update. What we have learned from each other for those five years. That's a very small thing. I can, mm -hmm. I can already say what I've learned from her. Okay. Like the biggest thing I've learned from her for those five years is actually... Ta <laughs> it's saving money. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing that she teach me so well. Still, I am kind of, I think I'm still shitty about this. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm really trying so hard and I really see the progress. And uh, it's really good to have saving. Mm -hmm. And I have to say she uh, teach me well about this and you know I have less and less stupid desires of buying ridiculous <laughs> things I'm him that I will not <laughs> that I will not buy. She is stopping me, but however, even I like to just I like to go to the store and so on, I like to look at those things, but mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh no no no, I'm going away from here because it will or like I like to sc scroll those online websites. It's like a woman. Just to just to scroll. I'm not buying, yes, I I just like to take a look. When you scroll, you scroll out the desire. I know, I know, but you know, you, many times, many times I say, I said, no, you should be happy about this, okay? I'm not I am. just. He's improving more things. and more. <laughs> and your? Uh, I feel like you are enlarging my horizon to the whole world and you specifically, do. specifically like the scientific thing. Because as I already mentioned many times, I'm more like an art, like I prefer art kind of thing, yeah? So about about astronomy, about science, uh, what else, computer, cars, I was like so-so. I know a little bit, but I'm not really having such a huge interest. But uh, after being with him, he's telling me, not with those dry knowledge, but he's showing me very interesting videos or introducing me very interesting people or scientists who who can tell you these things easily in a very simple way and by that I learned many new things and enlarging my my ideas to this world and also politics because um, we used to be kind of on a different side and because of him I'm more up to his political preference right now which I think is good it makes me more like a diligent person I, I I'm working harder, I'm not lazy anymore, I'm never a lazy person, but I, it changed me a lot, like he changed me a lot in different aspects of my life. And also one more thing, mm -hmm. the last update of our amazing channel, from now, uh, yes. put uh, subtitles into every video again. We just see that after we, because there was one, oh my god, it's like showing like a new product of Apple, we just we just implement the subtitles <laughs> that everyone implemented already, already 10 years ago. No, 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 it's just... We it's have limited human resource here, okay? Yes, we're gonna do it in both English and Chinese. There will be no Polish because... Yes. Just because right now there will be no Polish, please just... Please just know, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, also we just somehow feel like after we cut this whole um, subtitles. subtitles, our audience is going less and less, you know? We're gonna do it. No matter how much time we're gonna spend on it, but we will spend on it. And when I see the size of this video already on my phone, I'm we're gonna spend very, so much time on very it. scared <laughs> of this subtitle. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, and just just enjoy the channel. We love you. We love you, and see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers.